A look at Irma. It is extremely, extremely far away from our part of the world, but we got to watch it. Watch what goes on with this. It did have an eye earlier in the day uh, during the afternoon hours. It intensified a little bit, and then during the evening hours, the eye filled in, so it's dro they've dropped it back. Hurricane Center has dropped it back by five miles an hour It's in, in its initial intensity. Now, the thing about this thing is, look at this small uh, area of storms, this small storm. Now, it's in a great big area, so where is it going to be going? It's like a needle in a haystack. So to say that this storm will swing up and just nail us is really impossible to do. But it is out there, and it could nail us. So we want to watch out what goes on with this over the next 10, 11 days uh, before we draw anywhere close. Right now, it's got 115 mile an hour winds. Did have 120, uh, 125 mile an hour winds earlier. Moving to the west at 14 miles an hour. Here's where it's expected to go between now and on into the middle of next week, 8 o'clock evening. In the evening uh, on Wednesday, 130 mile an hour winds. Where does it go from there? Forecast miles are pretty steady, bringing it right on into here by Wednesday. But then after that, all the way on into Monday, they just really don't know what it's going to be doing. When you get further out in time with these forecast miles, it all starts falling apart. Here's what's going on with the Euro in the in, uh, turquoise uh, and the GFS in the purple color. And they both got where the storm is Friday night, Saturday morning at midnight. From there, we're going to just set it into motion, show you what's going on. There's where things are according to these two models by Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Now, the uh, Euro has got a little bit weaker, a little bit farther south, just to the north of Puerto Rico, and the uh, GFS has got a little bit stronger, more concentric circles there, uh, isobars basically. Uh, and uh, again, that's what's going on by Wednesday at 5 o'clock. Now we move on into the weekend, and uh, the Euro takes it a little bit farther southward on toward the Bahamas. Yesterday, or actually earlier in the day today, it was bringing it on up the same thing as what the GFS was doing. Now it's got it a little bit farther south, and uh, and of course the GFS a couple of days ago was bringing it on up into Canada, and uh, and a couple of days ago the uh, Euro was bringing it on into the Gulf of Mexico. So we don't really really know what this thing is going to be doing by s next Sunday uh, or next Monday. We're talking 11 days away. So again, it just doesn't really have a good idea of what it's going to be doing. So we got to watch it. It's a needle in a haystack, but it could get us. And if there is that slim chance, we really got to watch it. Here's what's going on. Tomorrow, no washout. The remnants of Harvey moving right on through here. And we're getting heavier rain into North Carolina uh, than they're getting right now into Kentucky, where the center of the storm is. Uh, there's been very heavy rain farther to our south, south of Rocky Mount toward the Raleigh-Durham area as well. Uh, and then it tends to fall apart as it moves into the cooler air in our area. This forecast model, I think, has got too much rain out of this, too heavy a rainfall. But it does have a good idea as to when it's going to slow down and come to an end. Or just taper on off, certainly by 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Most of the day is rain free for Saturday. It was Saturday at 1. And then at the end of the day, we'll see scattered showers and thunderstorms roll on through by Brent 6, 7 o'clock in the evening. But then thereafter, uh, it moves on off. We end up with a decent day coming up on Sunday, Sunday morning. And then Sunday, by the end of the day, we'll see highs in the low to mid 80s for the day coming up on Sunday. Our seven day forecast 80 degrees, good chance of rain. It's not going to be a washout. Few scattered showers, and then at the end of the day, we'll see some rumbles of thunder. Some thunderstorms roll on through. 80 degrees for a high late in the day. 84 degrees coming up on Sunday. Beautiful coming up on Sunday and Monday.